All right, I'm here to announce a very important condition I'm facing that I need you guys to know about. I can't swim. I know what you're thinking. Typical Nick, I mean, here's the thing though. It's not that I don't know how to swim. It's that I literally cannot swim. Like I physically can't swim. Like my body cannot swim. And um, I don't know what this is about because my swimming journey started all the way back when I was like eight. When I was at YMCA, I was enrolled in some swimming classes for some reason. And I actually did okay in them. You know, the first time I got put in water, I thought I might get packed up. But uh, thankfully, the instructor was there to save me from being on a tombstone. And that was cool. And after doing the classes for like a couple weeks or something, I kind of got the hang of it. I was able to swim to like the deep end of the pool, like no problems. I was like swimming. I was cool. I was floating, all that stuff. I graduated the program or whatever, graduated. And I did what I was supposed to. So at that point in time, I was perfectly like did the basics of swimming. But fast forward like a bunch of years and now I'm 14 in high school. And unfortunately, my school requires us to swim for our gym class. And I'm thinking, even though I haven't swum in like five years, I knew how to swim as a kid. Obviously, I can swim now. It's not going to be a big deal. Obviously. How could this be a problem for me? And I get to the water, and while everybody else in the class is cool, do everything they can to feel comfortable, I'm here in the back just holding onto life at the floor of the pool. And the teacher is like, okay, let's go to the deep end. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that. So, no matter how I'm doing anything, I just can't get myself to actually move forward. Like, I can't, like, propel myself. So, because I need to swim in this class, you know, graduate or whatever, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a problem. In this high school, for the first half of the year, it was, like, health or something. Who cares? And the second half was my gym. And you could take gym any year you wanted to, but I wanted to take my freshman year because I didn't want to, like, wait do it when I was older and then all the kids there would be like you know freshmen and stuff and I'd be like the only you know junior or senior that sounds like I would never do that so I did it as my freshman year also the way the classes set up were super annoying I, again most high schools it's like you have like seven classes or eight classes each are like around 40 50 minutes right but in this class it was like an hour and 30 minutes because in this school you only had like three or four classes a day. You had like four classes like Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays and like three classes on like Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it, for your class, when you have three classes, that was like a study hall. So you could do all your homework and everything. And that was kind of cool because with all that time to do homework and everything else, I didn't need to do it at home. But it was also kind of lame because like imagine being in high school, having a class for an hour and 30 minutes. And the school was terrible too. So it's like, it was just a horrible time for me. Anyway... I realized that I would have to actually put an effort to like swim in class. So I would come in for my hour long study hall time that, you know, period. And I would go to the gym, like the swimming pool in the gym to practice. And literally, no matter how many hours I spent there trying to get it right, there was nothing I could do. Like, There's no technique I could do to like get myself to swim right. So my teacher was like, OK, how about you put on these flippers? And all of a sudden, it was like, I could do anything. Like, with the flippers on, I would be able to swim to any part of the pool I needed to. The deepest end, the shallow end, it didn't matter. Because I was just, like, moving my legs, like, normally. I was swimming like everybody else. Like, it was cool. But I'm like, okay, now that I get the technique down with the flippers, let me try to do it again with my regular legs. And, uh, yeah, I'm back to how I was in the beginning. So, it appears that... When your body is mostly muscle, which I'm not, I'm just super skinny. Back then, I was even skinnier. Like, I guess my bone density and having no actual fat made it so that was really hard for me to float. And because of that, I really just couldn't swim, which is super lame. Because this is a pretty useful technique to have. And also, when you say you can't swim, it's like, what's wrong with you? It's like the most simple, like basic thing a human can do why can't you swim and it's like i know how to swim i just physically can't float by the end of that quarter i passed the swimming part of the class and you know everything was cool but it was literally for nothing because i moved the next year to a different school and the different school didn't even require me to swim in the first place so all that extra work was for nothing but on the other hand i'm kind of glad i did it my freshman year like I said earlier, I don't want to be like, you know, a junior, like with a bunch of freshmen in their gym requirement. Not swimming is lame, but it doesn't really matter because I haven't, you know, touched a pool like that in 10 years. So it's whatever if you think about it.